Hi there, crafty peeps. Enos here again, and I am back with the second half of my most recent Timu haul. Um, this haul is going to be showing you just some mishmash things that I picked up on my last shopping excursion with Timu, as well as a number of dies. So with that, let me get started. Um, I did pick up a pack of these um, multicolored brads, and I use these a lot for my mini albums. Um, tags and a variety of other things for decoration and attaching different things to my paper projects. So that's cute. And I don't have any tassels in my stash, so I'm happy to add this in. And I really like the idea that there's a multi-pack here with lots of different colors. Um, they do feel like suede. And these, not including the little hook um, circle on the top, are, let's see, one and a quarter inches long, okay? And you get a lot of different colors. We got a couple oranges, we got off-white, purple, red, a couple of different pinks, a couple of different greens. There's brown in here, here's a black one. So anyway, a really, really good variety to get me started with some tassels to start adding to my charms and whatnot. So that's that. And then I picked up another one of these little wax um, spoons, the melting spoons. Now, my sister did give me one of these in our Valentine swap, but I picked up another one. And the reason I picked up one, and you're going to see there's a couple of duplicates in this um, pile of uh, dies that I have here. I'm actually collecting some duplicates of things because I was really excited to wake up. I think it was Monday morning. And I know this might not sound like a lot to some people, but to me, it was a huge milestone. I actually hit over 400 subscribers. And when I woke up on Monday, I think it was 401. And today, last I noticed, it was like 410 or 11. So I am slowly growing, and that really excites me. I really never dreamed that anyone would want to follow any of my videos. But I'm very, very happy that many of you are. And so what I'm doing is I'm picking up a variety of little things and I am going to be holding a contest soon and um, giving some goodies away. So I hope that all of you will stick around, um, hopefully for the next 400 or more of my subscription uh, uh, subscribers. And um, we'll stick around in the next video or two. I will announce some details about the giveaway that I'm going to do. So anyway, this is one of the items that will be in the giveaway. And then I picked up some um, ball head jewelry pins. And these I use to do some wire wrapping. Okay, so I don't have many in the way of silver. And I kind of like these because of the length. Let's see here. Oops, that one's really bent up. So this is two inches. Okay, I mean, I, I wish I could get them a little bit longer so there's no, more play when you're doing your uh, bead wrapping, but this is what I found, and I'm happy with these. Then I picked up a pack of these um, crimping pieces, and they come in a variety of colors, and these are good for doing, like, leather or ribbon um, tassels and dangles. So I'm looking forward to using these. And I think these are one inch. Let me see here. Yeah, these are one inch uh, crimpers. And they come in gold, silver, brass, and, uh, and an antique. So it looks like there's four different colors in here. So those will be fun to use. And now on to the dies that I picked up. So I did pick up a second one of these. This is like a Cinderella carriage with the little horse on it. Um, I have one in my stash already, but this is one of the items that's going to be in my giveaway. And I'm not going to tell you everything today, just the things that are in this uh, this haul, but um, this is five, um, actually it's five or four and seven eighths long. And height wise, looks like one and three quarters of an inch. So it's a pretty good size. It'd be great on the front of a card. Um, yeah, so that's really pretty. And then I picked up a couple of these 
baby type dies. So I have a carriage and booties with bows and a little um, parasol here. And I do think I got duplicates of all of these. So these will probably be in the giveaway. Okay, so those are very cute. And then I picked up this flower die for me. <laughs> Flowers, and then it's got some leaves here. Kind of look like begonia leaves. So I'm not sure what this flower is going to look like when it's put together. Uh, maybe it will be a begonia, but that's really pretty. And the largest part of this set is um, an inch and three quarters by just under an inch and a half for the largest piece. So that's going to be really fun. And then I picked up two of these happy birthday um, shadow dies. And so one of these is going to be in my giveaway. And I previously hauled this cute little bench. So this one is a duplicate and this will be in my giveaway. And this is um, two and seven eighths by one and seven eighths. So it's not real big, but it would be perfect on the front of a card with some other cutouts, um, die cuts and embellishments. And then I picked up two of these. Um, this could be a corner pocket or you could um, use it as a part of a lace doily. And the other thing I thought you could do with this is cut it out in thin paper and then maybe roll it so it's like a posy holder. Um, very cute cutouts on here with the little hearts. There's the bigger heart and then some little bitty teeny tiny ones. So those are cute. And I did pick up two of these. And then I got this for myself, a little puppy slash kitty paw. Looks like it could be a shadow die if I wanted to make it a shadow die. And part of the paw has a little heart on there, so that's cute. And I think this one is a duplicate as well. It's a beautiful um, window. And this one is four and a half by three or two and three quarters. So this is a really good size die too. And you know what would be cute with this? And actually it probably does. When you cut this out on paper, it's raised up on the top and down the center and on the bottom. So I think these little doors actually will open up because this is like a score line here. So that will be really cute on some projects. And the last thing I got here, um, dies, is this set of banners. So we get one, two, three, four, five different banners in that. And um, I may or may not include this. I don't recall if I have a duplicate or not. If I do, then this will go into my prize package, but we'll see about that. And the very last thing I picked up was just a small pack. I think there's 30 of these uh, 12 centimeter, 12 by one centimeter uh, magnets. And I use these for my um, uh, mini albums. So I thought I would give the Timu ones a, a chance. I usually buy them from um, Amazon. So I thought I'd give these a try and see if they work just as well. They feel really, really strong. Like they're almost too hard to pull apart. So they may well be worth buying um, from Allie. So with that, um, that is the end of my... Oh, look at this. It's already grabbed up a bunch of my dies. That's the end of this Timu haul. And... Um, Give you a sneak peek of some of the things that I will be putting in a giveaway to celebrate me reaching 400 subscribers. And like I said, I know that for many of you that doesn't mean a whole lot. But for me, who really didn't start out trying to get subscribers, um, it's kind of exciting and it's kind of fun. And I'm glad to make it into the next level of the hundreds and um, just having fun while I'm crafting and doing things that I would be doing anyway, and I get to talk to all of you folks. So with that, I'm going to say goodbye, and thank you for spending your time with me, and I will catch you on the next Crafty video. Bye-bye, Crafty peeps.